Hello, I'm gonna explain how to assign buttons in the Hercules DJ Control Mix to DJ App functions in Android. First of all, you have to download an APK from the DJ App. The latest version is 5.1.5, so I search DJ APK 5.1.5 the first link I get into brings me to download an xapk file which hasn't worked for me so I go a little down and find in apk combo web a link to download this apk I click this and get the apk file what I'm going to do is to edit this APK, then recompile, and with all my button assignments, I will install it in my mobile device. I go to the download folder, and what I need for decompiling this file is another application that's called APK Tool GUI. I search it in Google. And you can go into GitHub and search for the download link and download. Is this the file? I go to the folder and extract it. I get into and execute this file. Now I go to the three points button next to the decompile button and search for the APK file I have just uh, downloaded. Then I click on the compile button and wait for about two minutes. Okay, it's done. Now I can close the software and I go to the download folder. And I find that it has been generated a new folder name as the APK file I, I downloaded. I get into this folder, then to the ACIDS folder, and then to MIDI mappings. What I can find here is a list of MIDI mappings for several devices. And here you are the Hercules DJ Control Mix 1. If you edit this file with notepad, you can see here the code lines and the structure is uh, blocks and each one of these blocks related to a function assigned to a button. Here you can see, for example, if you search for the function Q, you can find this it will be several but this is related to the turntable one and the function is Q position or jump considering play state one so the Q one and this function is related to a MIDI channel a MIDI data and a MIDI message type the MIDI channel is the one the MIDI data is six and the MIDI message type is 1. These three numbers are like coordinates for locating the physical button assigned to this function. What we need to know is the coordinates of the button we want to change and the name of the function or more clear the name that the application gives to the function we want to assign. How can you find all this information? Well, you have to install the desktop version of the DJI app. You can find it in the Microsoft Store. Type DJI here and here is DJI Pro and click the button install. 
ok, we run the application get start skip and now it's when we connect our DJ control mix to the laptop via USB cable then I go to this menu click on MIDI devices as you can see the DJ control mix has been correctly detected I click on configure and here you can see a list of actions or functions um, assigned to physical buttons also you can see here a drop down with a built-in profile we're gonna duplicate this profile then I click out and I select the new profile this profile is uh, which we are going to edit as you can see if I push a button in my controller for example I'm in hot Q and I press 1 the highlight line changes to Q1 and here I can assign a new function to this button in the desktop version is very simple but not in the Android version that's why I'm making this video for example you can see a file a configuration file uh, related to this list for getting to this file you can go this edit configurations and here show in Explorer and here you are the, the file so if you're able to extract information from this file and take it to this other file you'll be able to change uh, the function of the buttons now we close this file minimize this and we are going to assign a different function to the bottom one of the loops so in our DJ control mix we are going to change to loop and click the one button as you can see in the software the line changes to the uh, to the actions or to the action assigned to that to that button but what we want to know are the physical coordinates of this button before to change it we go to edit configurations here show in explorer edit file with notepad and we are going to look for a keyword like loop here we are turntable one okay it's turntable one and the function is auto loop one bit interval it looks very similar to auto loop one so i suppose this is the function and the physical coordinates of the button are 6, 48 and 1 ok we are going to look for this function in the other file in the file um, the compile from the apk ok we have this function and the coordinates as you can see are the same 6, 48, 1 so we can close this file now minimize this minimize this and here we are going to change the function we are going to put the function loop in out and click in done then we go again here MIDI devices configure and then go again to edit configurations show in explorer and edit with notepad we are going to search for loop ok here are the previous coordinates 6, 48, 1 and the new name of the function 
we are going to select this copy and take it to the other file to file from the the compiled apk here you are the coordinates 6481 and we are going to substitute substitute this function name for the new function name and we're gonna save okay we can close this and close this and now we go to our download folder and here we are uh, our folder the compile assets midi mappings and here is the new um, file that we have modified with the new function for the button one of the loop now we have to compile this folder into another apk file and how we do this with our apk tool we get into execute the file we click on this button next to the compile button select our folder and click on compile it will last about three minutes okay it's done now we can close this application and we go to our download folder and as you can see it has been generated a new apk file um, adding the word sign this is the file you have to copy to your mobile device and install you have to allow unknown resources in the configuration of your device for this to be possible this has been an example for changing only one function of the app if you want to change several functions as desired you have to find out all the button coordinates and the names of the functions you want to assign to those then you edit the MIDI mapping file with all the changes and generate the installations APK that you will copy to your mobile device. Hope this helps to everybody with a DJ Control Mix and DJ App in Android. Greetings for you all.